<clears throat> everyone, this is Hellgast5618 from BSN or SDF1 on YouTube, whichever you want to call me. This is going to be episode 7 of the Golden Age of Gaming. If you haven't figured it out already, this is a Sega Game Gear. The handheld console from Sega back in the, what was it, mid-90s? And I'm about to show you guys a game that everyone love, knows and loves. This actually goes out to you, Mr. Sonic and Tails for Life. Hopefully you enjoy, I hope you enjoy this. So this is uh, Sonic 2 for the Sega of Game Gear. I used to play this for hours on end when I was a lot younger. Back when I still had this game. And this, this game, let's face it, this game was kick-ass. There was just no... You know, I'm going to fix the focus on here because it seems to be... Uh, There we go. But this game was just totally kick-ass back in the day. And it's still kick-ass for those who know and love it. So we're going to start with the underground zone first and foremost. Now, I know just about every... Even after all these years of not playing this game, I still know every nook and cranny. I don't know why I do that, but I still like the idea of crashing, but, uh... And believe it or not, it's actually easier to look at this through the camera than it is th on the actual screen. Oop! Darn it. Those guys are real. Coins are more of a life preserver here than anything else, um... Whoa! Oh, crap. Ouch. Uh, rings here are more of a life preserver than anything else. I mean, yes, they, get, they, they will grant you extra lives. Whoops. But let's be honest, I mean, people who've played this game have probably screwed up a lot of times, and... This is the episode... So that's the end of the first uh, level of episode one, I guess. Yeah. I always give you a little tally of your score at the end. But, um... I guess what really made... Oh! Forgot about him. There, I took care of him. One of the things that made this game sort of fun to, fun to watch as well as play, actually, was, uh... Oh, yeah. Here. Well, there's an underground passage here. Well, there we go. I guess one thing that was made that made it nice. If you didn't know if, if there was any lava down there without the fireball telling you already, you could always push down, and Sonic would actually look down. Same if you actually wanted to look up, you could look up. Like that. And that, that made this game pretty cool. Oops. I went a little too far. Let's see. Aw, oh, really? <laughs> oh. Again, I went too far. So you do have to take a little care when you're actually running around in this game. It is a lot of trial and error. Um, but I can honestly say there's no, there's probably no game I ever spent the most amount of time on when I was a kid. Oops. There we go. There we go. Rings galore. Whoop! Where am I going? I'm gonna take the high road this time. Wee! This is this is just fun. Jump! Oh crap! I didn't make it up there. Whoa! More lava! Ah, motherfucker! All right. 
Aw, oh, you little bastard. Not that it really matters. I'm pretty much at the end of the game now. Oh shit, did I do that? Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's the stupid mistakes you make that really make this game a bit harder than it should be. But at the same time, um, being trial and... Oh, I didn't know he was there. You know, being a game that's mostly based in trial and error... You know what? Screw that. I'm just gonna go ahead. Let's forego all the crap. Being a game of trial and error, I mean, you start to learn how to... Ah. Okay. Being a trial and error game, you learn how to watch out and check for pitfall. Oh, and that's another little thing. This cute little thing that Sonic does. If you bring him to the edge of somewhere, he starts to look like he's going to tip over. I mean, they have that in the Genesis as well, which is kind of... There we go. You're dead. Kill that son of a bitch. Alright. Now, don't jump off this cart. Okay. And we're done. Sweet. Yahoo! So that is the... I guess the one thing I about this uh, Sega Game Gear console is that it does make... It is really hard to see. I'm not, like I said, I'm actually playing this through the camera instead of the... Uh, instead of looking at it on screen, because the camera is actually showing it better than I could when it, if I were looking at it. Oh. Come on, you can just make it to the edge there. There we go. Oh, look, it's Robotnik. I'm pretty sure this was back in the day when he was actually called Robotnik, not Dr. Eggman. Name doesn't exactly command much respect. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <clears throat> Maybe I should look at it through the screen here, but I can't because I got the camera here. I will prevail no matter what. All right, let's try this again. Wee jump! There we go. Alrighty. For those who don't know, the trick to this boss fight is just not getting hit by the bombs. That's all you got to do. And don't slide into uh, Sarlacc's mouth, or whatever the fuck that thing is. Okay. Whoa, shit! <laughs> okay, that was a big bouncing bomb there. Whoa! Whoa, okay, I didn't even have to jump for that one. Okay, for those ones, those ones are easy. Okay, that was lucky. Wee! Oh, you got burned. Oh, burn. Oh, yeah. All right. Yep. Big ugly robotnik face from flying around. And that releases all the f cute little critters. That is the end of Act 3 of the Underground Zone. Okay, I gotta pause now. Um, so yeah, that was the Golden Age of Gaming, Episode 7, focusing on the Sega Genesis. Hope you all liked that. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Um, let me know if you like these videos. And if you want to see more of them, I do plan on continuing this, this series. And, yeah, let me know how, how it goes. Peace.